Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of recognizing volume. This is standard 5.6a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 19 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a student that builds rectangular prisms. Each cube has a volume of one cubic inch. So which rectangular prism has a volume of 12? So we're looking at these rectangular prisms with all of these little cubes stacked, and we're looking for a volume of 12. How do we find volume? Well, there's two different ways that we can find volume. So volume. You'll see this on your formula chart, length times width times height. So volume is the amount of cubes that you can put into a three-dimensional shape, kind of like area is the amount of squares you can put on a two-dimensional shape. Or sometimes you might see it like this, volume equals BH. So the H in both of these formulas equal height, so you're always going to be multiplying by the height. The base is just the area of that bottom layer. And guess how we find area? We find area by length times width. So you can write it either way. Either way, you're going to be multiplying three different things, the length times the width times the height. And so let's see if we can figure out what we have here for A. So volume equals length. I'll just do length times width times height. And so it looks like my length We'll call it 3. My width, you have to count how many back there are, 2. Height, I got 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, let's talk about why it's important to use the formula. If I just counted the visible cubes, right, I would see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'd see 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There are several cubes that are hidden in the back, like behind this layer. So we can't just count what's visible. So let's multiply 3 times 2 is 6, times 4. So my volume here is going to be 24 cubic units. Or I could say units cubed, with that little 3. So that's not it. I'm looking for 12. But that's that's what we're going to end up using. So let's see length times width times height. Let's see what B looks like. We've got a length of 1, 2, 3. All right. We've got a width counting back, 1, 2. And I've got a height of just 1, 2. So it's not very big. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've only got 10 cubes showing. Uh, so that's why we need to make sure we always count everything. Because there's more than 10 cubes. 3 times 2 is going to be 6 times 2. So our volume is 12 cubic units. And that is what we're looking for. That's not very big. Let's check to see that C and D are incorrect looking like it's going to be B. So volume equals length times width times height. So let's say I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as a length. I've got 1, 2 as a width. If I just multiplied 6 times 2, that'd be fine. That'd be 12. But you notice I've got a height of 2, which means there's too many layers. So that's going to be 12 times 2. And that's going to be 24 units, I'll, I'll do it this other way, units cubed, cubic units. Let's check this last one here. The volume equals length times width times height. This is kind of strange, it almost looks like a 100 block right there. So length, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, wow. That's pretty big. 12 across, how far back. It's just got one back, like it's just one flat layer. So it's just 12 times 1. Let's count our height. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, was it 12 by 12? All right, so 12 times 1, yeah, that's just going to give me 144. My answer is B.